it's about to go down welcome back to another episode of master detective oh the, the guards are for sure in his room i don't know how we're getting past oh wait <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute if this death trap gets reactivated we're gonna only have 30 minutes to live I managed to get here without being seen, but there should be more peacekeepers up ahead. So what we can do is hide in that vent while they're like coming back. I better keep moving and stay out of sight. So if they come back, we can hide in this vent Wait, right there. What if some toxic gas is still lingering around? <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> right. if there's a cutscene that just happens, bro. I'm gonna get spooked. Bruh, really? I knew it. There are still some peacekeepers. But once I'm at the computer, I'll be in their blind spot. Can't you use Amapal to, like, fuck with them? How are you going to get past them? I just need to reach the computer without being seen. This mission is impossible. Master, you gotta make sure you don't get clumsy. Did she say mission impossible? Boom, 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 boom. I need to hurry up and check the all that's left is to check the computer. Hey, hold it. Who's there? You dummy. Oh no. Jeez, I told you not to get clumsy. Dumbass. You're that terrorist detective. How did you get here? I'll catch you and report to Director Yomi. Master, you'll have to take a chance in the mystery labyrinth. Damn. Wait, I didn't check the computer yet. I have to do that before going to the mystery labyrinth. She said she literally said we cannot go into the mystery labyrinth until we have all the clues, enough clues available, right? Then what are you going to do? What do I do? <laughs> Wait, a quick, a quick time event? Just come quietly. Resistance is futile. <sighs> What's the map? Olivia! <sighs> Sheesh. What a pain. I want to die someday. I want to die someday. Olivia, you came to help me? Uh, you, you're on the right track. I always like to keep this syringe in my pocket. Bro, why is it blurry? That syringe is blurry. What's in there, bro? My dude said, I can't, I can't show the world this, this new injection I got that'll put anybody to sleep. He walks around with a syringe. He's like a walking cup magnet. I know I should leave you alone, but curiosity got the best of me. Dude, just be having needles. Like, what you got needles in there? What, you look like a... Oh, wait a minute. He probably uses it to help him use his forte. So technically that makes sense. Like if he's having trouble to actually go to sleep, he could just use it at a moment's notice. You are like death itself. You said that before, but I'm not the death detective. No matter. I will be a witness to the end. Look at the way this dude is smiling. Once you obtain the truth, I'll see if you choose to scream or fall silent. Yeah, then somebody we know is definitely the killer, bro. Like I said, like a couple episodes back, usually around the chapter four, chapter five, you gotta you gotta take out somebody very close to you in these Fudaka games, bro. I don't get what you mean, but you really saved me. <laughs> and now I can check the doctor's computer. Dude, look at, dude, look at that peacekeeper cheeked up, bro. Look at this. <laughs> bro, a hiney hiker. Hmm. Slumped. He looked like a Caleb City villain. this investigation now. Like, bro, just fold it out like that. It's not locked. Oh, thank goodness. How fortunate. No one could enter this room, so we didn't need to set a password. 
kind of weird though. Time to check it out. Let's see. <laughs> I guess that's how they explain it. So you didn't need to set a password. They didn't want to find. They didn't want to think of a reason why they, you know, didn't need to have a password. Security log, reference folder one, folder two, folder three. Well, what are you looking at? And what did you find out? Well, basically, when the security system is turned on or off, it automatically records the date and time in the log. So if someone cut the security and entered this room without permission, it would be recorded in the log. Uh-huh. I don't really get it. I'm not into modern machines and stuff. Huh? What's going on here? What's wrong? The only instance of the security being switched off was an hour ago. It hasn't been turned back on since, so... so that was when we did that. That means this must have been when I used Amapal to disable the security. <sighs> I'm telling you, this is what I think what happened, bro. Actually, how would she be able to do that? Hold on, her time rewind ability wouldn't make sense if she was able to be the killer. She was with them controlling Ama Power, right? Yeah, that's that's actually hard. So, so she was there um talking to dude at the same time so it maybe wasn't for buki so like i just thought about it like if she rewound time she wouldn't be where yuma and um desuhika was she would actually just be she she would have just disappeared for a minute Somebody I'm trying to think. Um because if she let's say if we unlocked the security measure, got in, and then after that, you know, portion we where we all ch get chased out, I think she could rewind time at that point. But let's say if you rewind time, right? With her. Yeah, somebody would somebody would know. Like they would have to know at that point, right? Damn, that shit's gonna be tricky, dude. I just know that it might be for Buki, bro. <laughs> there, there it's just like if she rewound time, they would notice if she was gone, right? Unless the sequence of events played out. Mm. This is interesting. I don't know. Let's move forward. We need more information. Right. So what? I'm not even going. Let's. I'm gonna throw out the time shit. That I think that's just. That's that's just the fuck with us. Well, the last time security was cut was 90 days ago. 90 days? Maybe somebody waited that long. Which means that security was up for at least 90 days before I disarmed it. There wasn't a single moment that security was cut during that time. Last time it was disabled was 90 days ago. This old man was cooped up in here for 90 days? He's a bona fide shut-in! That's not the problem here. There's no record of anyone coming in and out of this room. There should be a log of the hitman entering before we did. Since there isn't, the doctor couldn't have been murdered here. Oh, interesting. It's the perfect impossible crime. Yeah, this is definitely one of them fortes, bro. From the looks of it, it appears we have strayed further from the truth. Hmm. The files are formatted to prevent editing. There doesn't appear to be signs that the log was rewritten. We've checked the data, but it's just made the crime even more impossible. And thus, the mystery deepens. Yes, dearable. It's 
it's not over yet. There could be more secret data. Halara even mentioned it. His emails haven't been deleted. He's been communicating a lot with the same person. One message is fairly recent, too. We have some trouble. Someone has discovered our deal, and you should go into hiding for the time beating. GTA 70. HK GTA 70. X5%. And, and for Dex. I forget what the fuck that's called. Ampadampy D. The experience is time to call it quits. We profited enough from this already. It's too dangerous to leave research and confidential information any longer. I shall fully withdraw from here. With this money, I will fund my new research. Really? So he's just leaking information. You intend to leave Kanai Ward? Doctor, don't tell me you're plotting to take the research and run. I hope you already know this, but you have nowhere to go. What's the matter, Doctor? Are you ignoring me? I will not permit any betrayal. I told you before. But you have nowhere to run. Prepare yourself. This is... Quite a suspicious exchange. I'm sure Doctor refers to Dr. Huesca. The address is just random characters jumbled together. It'd be hard to figure out who the person is just from this. The doctor spoke to a mysterious person about leaking research and confidential information. Speaking of which, Makoto mentioned something similar. Well, this is just a rumor. But someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. For all we know, it could have been him. <laughs> I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. So his suspicions were right. Dude, this is crazy. Searching through the backlog of the emails, this appears to have been going on for over five years. Damn. But it seems like their relationship soured about six months ago. I guess the doctor wanted to cut ties. So the doctor plotted to leave Kanai Ward and this anonymous tried to stop him. It's more like he directly threatened him, if you ask me. Could Anonymous be the one who hired the hitman? The doctor betrayed him, so he sought to kill the doctor. Makes sense. The doctor didn't shut himself in here just for research. He did it to protect himself. He felt Anonymous posed a threat, so he barricaded himself in a lab with impenetrable security. That also makes sense. But he sure didn't act like someone living with a death threat, right? Either he was that confident in his security, or it was just a facade. Regardless, this Anonymous is very suspicious. If only we could find out who this is. Even if that person hired the hitman, we still don't know how he got inside. True, that is the biggest puzzle here. How did the culprit get through such perfect security and murder the doctor? Fine, Forte. If we didn't figure that out, the case can't be solved and our innocence can't be proven. It's definitely a forte. Huh? Ah, oh, Yomi's bitch ass. What are you doing here? What up, homie? You again? I know you're not on my computer, boy. What are you, anyway? Were you born just to get in my way? You owe me hell smile. Chill, bro. Or was this all fated from the very beginning? No. Fate is just an excuse for defeatists. All right, fine. You're not just some shit in my path. <laughs> You're an obstacle in the way of my ideals. A piece of trash. Bro. Trash must be dealt with properly before you rot and start to stink. First of all, Let's talk this out, bro. What's your name? Yuma Coco Pet. I see. I'll make a path through Kanai Ward's sewers with your name on it. Of course, it'll be named after your bones once they're dumped there. Hey! Capture these criminals! I'll execute them on the spot! 
Shinigami, can you do it? Of course, Master! <laughs> we are finally acting like partners! And of course, it's all thanks to my patient training! To the Mystery Labyrinth! All right, here we go. <laughs> it doesn't get any weird it, it, it just it remains the same kind of weird it doesn't get more weirder but it, it it's always weird see or not i will never be comfortable shinigami is definitely um <laughs> a problem I see. So this is your true power. Uh, um... Yuma, I knew you were dangerous. No matter what you say, it's already way too late! <laughs> I want to die someday. <laughs> huh? <laughs> bing, 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 bing. All right, so I guess I'll just keep saving over this file. I wonder if chapter five is going to be Chief ya Yakko, Yakko Shmirnov. All right, time to spend about 10 minutes talking about shit, explaining it to Vivia Twilight. It's not going to be fun. Oh. We got elephants. Okay. They did a nice little MTV entrance right there, like MTV Cribs. That was random. Again with the falling. Why can't it ever be a gentle landing? Oh, Vivia. Um, this is called the Mystery Labyrinth. I already know. So. This place is a physical manifestation of mysteries from the case? You can tell? Well, anyway, this actually isn't my forte. Due to the power of death. Her, right? Huh? So you really could see me this whole time? He could? It's due to my spiritual affinity. Ever since I was young, I've been able to see otherworldly things. My forte was gained through training that innate talent. Well, you're the, you're the, the guy from Umbrella Academy. Though, I wasn't able to see her clearly like this before. I could tell you were talking to some haze following you around, but that was it. Until one day, I used my spectral projection at the agency and saw that death got clear as crystal. After that, I did some research. I discovered that the WDO underground book vault held something called the Book of Death. And also, that someone had taken it. Did I take it? Before I lost my memories? I don't know. Since you're a rookie, I doubt you'd have access to the book vault. Only a handful of people have WDO clearance for that. Just a handful? Anyway, you've been using this ability to solve the other cases up till now, haven't you? I yeah So, 
This is also related to the mysterious deaths of all those culprits. Yep. My guess is clearing a labyrinth, a materialization of a mystery, causes its true perpetrator to die. And the thing is, if you don't solve the mystery, you die. <laughs> if that's the case, you've killed a lot of people with your own hands, Yuma. Uh, don't try to make him feel worse, Vivian. Well, I didn't really kill anyone. It's just what happens when... Nope. I may be the one reaping their souls, but the blood is still on your hands. Huh? Oh. Hey! No point in pretending to be a goody two-shoes. You're risking your life to solve these mysteries. I see. So you're determined to do this, huh? Sorry, but... I don't think I have that kind of conviction myself. So, I think I'll take a nap here while you go and risk your life. For some reason, I don't think that's gonna happen. You gonna get dragged along. You can sleep if you want, but you won't be able to get out. Hmm, is that so? If you're not with Master when and if he solves the labyrinth, this place will collapse around you. Well, if you don't have any regrets in the real world, you're free to die here. Hmm. Regrets. I don't have any of those. But there are still some things I've left unfinished. Like that spaghetti in the refrigerator. Especially after you exposed the mystery. What do you mean by that? I'll be perfectly clear. I'm just going to tag along. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. I don't care what you do, just don't get in our way. So Yuma is basically a PKK. He's a player killer killer. He only kills player killer. <laughs> well, master. I only murder murderers. I'm a murderer murderer. <laughs> I'm a murderer that, that, yeah, that uh, okay. murders murderers. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Time for that sword throw. I am. Time for that dot dot sword truth blazer 3000. Huh? I be I beg your pardon. <laughs> The fact that it turns all veiny and shit, dude, is so stupid. <laughs> it's so... It's like... They know what they was doing with that, bro. The game freezes on that, and your parents so come in like, Hey, it's not what you think, I promise. Mysteries. This place must be pretty dangerous. <gasps> yeah, speed it up. Is that key something? Wow. Could you be more of a downer? Whatever. I'm gonna ignore you. So let's go and unravel this mystery labyrinth. Let's hunt down this culprit who preys on the truth. <sighs> we have to walk. This is un. Uh, Ain't no explaining this to no. So you can't explain it to somebody over like 60 at this point. You, you just done, bro. They 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 just gonna confiscate your t TV, your game system. It's a wrap. I thought you were gonna ignore him. Like we don't understand you. <laughs> we don't think we want you living in this house anymore. <laughs> I'd win. Yeah, you'd be homeless too. No. <laughs> remember anything about the case? You can win, but you. You ain't gonna be winning here. You mean Dr. Huesca's murder? Or are you talking about when Chief Yako was attacked? Huh? You remember? Everyone else that came here lost their memories. That is weird. I guess it's something to do with the spiritual shit. That's pretty rare. It must be because of his whole spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. So the others lost their memories. That's why no one remembers this death god. So rude of them. It's thanks to yours truly that those cases got solved. Is that 
That reminds me, I used my coalescence with Fubuki before Vivia. But Vivia is the only one who came into the mystery labyrinth. Oh yeah. Huh. Hmm. I guess coalescence got overwritten. Maybe it only takes the most recent ability. I don't know either. You don't know? But coalescence is your power, Shinigami. Relax, will ya? Minor detail. You would have been better off with Fubuki. She would have been far more useful for this case. It doesn't matter anyway. No one can use their forte here. Oh. So now I really don't have to do anything. Thank goodness. What a relief. Jeez! You ever think your lack of motivation could be contagious? Hey, you relax. This is one long loading screen. That's all this is. I'm still walking, bro. There we go. Nah, man. You know why Fubuki ain't in here, too? Oh, you know why. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Huh? I wish huh? they wouldn't spring out of nowhere like that. I thought this labyrinth would only require your wits. But it looks like it's going to take more than that. The question not. of the day is... Yeah. Time for you to guess. Guess this mix-up, motherfucker. 50-50. You guess right? You get to continue to block. If you guess wrong, you lose 75% of your health. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot of wits, so... Oh man, this must be that Undernight game you guys are talking about. <laughs> huh? Why didn't a problem appear? Hmm. Not only was there no problem, no choice appeared either. Master, maybe you don't even know which mystery to start with to solve this case. Damn, this is fucked up. Yeah, there's so many unknowns. I'm honestly feeling lost right now. So we got a lot of unknown unknowns and a lot of known unknowns. Come on, you gotta know where to start with this stuff or you won't be able to solve a single thing. Let's decide that for now. What's the first mystery of this case? How did the murderer get inside the room, maybe? Why did the person murder this dude? Uh, the first mystery is... The fact that Dr. Weska was murdered in a completely locked room with no way in or out. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good uh, question right there. The doctor was located deep in the critical lab, behind layers of security. Real deep. And yet, he was found stabbed to death. We were the first to discover the body. At the time, we were controlling the robot, Amapel. You know... Because of that, we were thought to be the culprits. But we obviously aren't. So how did the culprit get in and out of the doctor's lab? That's what I don't know. I'm telling you, it has to do with... I don't want to say it's timey-wimey, but maybe there's actually a way to get in. Maybe, maybe there was a way to just kind of get in that lab without the time shenanigans. But the culprit is definitely the hitman, right? I think so, but I'm not absolutely sure. Besides, even if the hitman did it, there's the question of who hired him. But there's no doubt the hitman stabbed Chief Yako. That's the only thing I'm absolutely certain about. <laughs> Bruh. Can I warns garbage? What are you doing here? <sighs> Yo, me hell smile. So the director of the peacekeepers is here. Yeah, but he's just part of the mystery labyrinth. I figured. In other words, he's a monster created from the labyrinth. Oh, right? this is gonna be uh, kind of difficult. R right. You pieces of shit. <laughs> You're disturbing the 
piece of con I want. Oh shit. He looks like a SMT boss, bro. He's a bro. This is like end game. You you're about to make your your decision. You're about to go the neutral or the chaos route. The true lawful route, maybe, and then this dude stands in your way. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem like an easy opponent. But we have no choice. For Chief Yako, for everyone. You killed Dr. Weska, didn't you? Turn yourselves in so I can torture you to death! Torture you to death? That's kind of fucked up, bro. Straight out of Zeus. Alrighty. How do we defend ourselves? Zeus, put you on a noose. Security power supply. You're the ones who killed Dr. Weska. You disarmed the security system to the doctor's lab. Huh? Well, that's true. And then murdered him inside. Well, he got a whole bunch Until of stuff. You actually entered the lab. The security system for the critical lab stayed active. It's impossible to bypass the system while it's active. In other words, no one can enter the doctor's lab. Oh, ow! Be an intruder. It couldn't be an intruder. Ah! Oh, I can take no. The culprit. Wait, 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 wait! I got body. Right. Uh huh. But the doctor died before we got inside, which means there had to be an intruder. Anyway, let's take a look at the solution keys. I think the one I have should be the one. Okay. Uh, you disarmed the security system to the doctor's lab. And then murdered him inside. Until you actually entered the lab, the security system for the critical lab stayed active. It's impossible to bypass the system while it's active. Looking tracks. In other words, no one can enter the doctor's lab. There couldn't be an intruder! Got him. The truth. <sighs> when the body was first discovered, Amapel was about to enter the doctor's lab, but something bumped into it and knocked it over. In fact, there was a mark on Amapel's head, like someone kicked it. Yeah, 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 there's new music. Y'all know what that means. <laughs> We're closer to the truth. That mark wasn't there when we borrowed it. It's proof that someone else was in the lab. <laughs> you call that evidence? Is bullshit the only thing that comes out of that mouth? Bullshit? Hold up. I gotta repel a statement, probably. Don't make me laugh. All right. Shit. There was an intruder? That's impossible. Keep bagging them. You prove that yourself. That claim doesn't hold up. Ooh, that claim don't hold up, motherfucker. Motherfucker. What do you mean? We proved there wasn't an intruder. <laughs> you still don't understand? Don't make me laugh. All right, here we go. Lab map, airlock, panel chamber, vent. If there was another intruder, here we go. Then where did they go? Uh, I don't know. By the time you arrived at the scene, there was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical lab. There's no way they got past you. Or are you saying they slipped away and you missed it? That could be a thing. That's obviously Oof. impossible. Bro. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 
You just proved you committed the crime. Okay, let's see. Lab map, a floor plan. It was supposed to be a top secret, but it was all hidden behind. We actually haven't really had a need for the lab map. Like, I actually haven't been able to look super close at it. Okay, the panel room. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 Okay, then in the critical lab. Lid is barred from. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's this one and I have to prove it. Uh, somebody maybe could have been in there. Could the cooker have hidden them? Yeah, they, they could have like stepped into the lab. Oh, oh, I think I figured it out. I like this. So, you know that foot step? Oh, that's kind of crazy. I, the foot step, what didn't happen in the lab? It didn't happen in the lab. It happened earlier. It happened earlier. Oh my God. So the footstep on the Amapal happened when we booted it up and then somebody got on top of the damn thing to open that vent. So, but that doesn't explain how somebody could have knocked over the Amapal. But that footstep definitely came from earlier. Holy shit. This is a oh man, this is okay, we're getting somewhere though. If we're getting somewhere was though. Intruder, then where did they go? Ooh. By the time you arrived at the scene. Oof. I slid into that. There was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical room. There's no way they got past you. Yeah, they did. Or are you saying they slipped away and you missed it? What? Did I, did I have the right solution key? Say. That's right. I must have equipped the wrong key. Wouldn't that be it? I'm kind of confused. Am I supposed to it's supposed to be a top secret, but it was found here behind the house plan. There's no way I'm supposed to show this. There was another intruder. Then where did they go? By the time you arrived at the scene, there was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical room. There's no way they got past you. Or are you saying they slipped away and you missed it? So maybe I I probably use this, but I fucked up. I think I was supposed to use it on the earlier statement. Wrong statement. You just proved you committed the crime. No, I didn't. What is this guy saying, bro? Right. What is that? If there was another intruder, then where did they? Oh, go? I still got hit. By the time you arrived at the scene, there was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical. There it is. Let's do this mystery. 
Shut the fuck up! That's right. I had the right. I had the right key. I just didn't use it on the right statement. It's inside the airlock's decontamination device. The vent cover can be easily removed, and there's just enough space for someone to fit inside. If they hid inside the decontamination device, we wouldn't have seen them when we arrived at the scene. <laughs> so what? You've got it all wrong anyway. Everything is wrong. Your existence is all wrong. Have fun chasing that fake truth you found. Damn. That dude is just so full of himself. So full of this bullshit. We managed to defeat him this time, but it's not over yet. He sure is persistent, huh? Yeah, he is a persistent son of a bitch. Anyway, there's no doubt someone else was inside the doctor's lab. So let's unravel each mystery one at a time. All right, we'll get it this time. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yes, was there an intruder? Why does it have to be so sudden? Okay, now that we've wedged our way into this mystery, we just gotta head through the labyrinth and reach the truth. That definitely felt like the midway point. <laughs> that felt like that should have been like the midway point, like death match, death reasoning match. Was there an intruder? Yes. Was there a bedroom intruder? Just now getting to the point. Hey, don't sigh. This is a good thing. Sorry. Anyway, let's head inside. This dude, calm down. You didn't have to do no work, bro. There was an intruder for sure. We know someone bumped into Amapal. The culprit probably hit Amapal on their way out. After that, they must have intended to leave the lab couldn't because we were in the front chamber. So they hid inside the decontamination device to avoid us. So, if you checked inside the decontamination device on the way to the scene, you would have caught the culprit then and there. Y yeah but it was an emergency and we had no idea they were in there. It's super lame to make up excuses, Master. Yeah, we still gotta decide, or we gotta figure out how they got in there. It's not an excuse, but it is true. If I had thought about why Amapal was knocked over at that time, I would have realized the culprit was in there. We could have waited in ambush room search for them. Right. And if I'd caught the culprit then, Chief Yaka wouldn't have gotten stabbed. Master, wallowing in regret is even lamer. If you have time for that, you have time to keep going. Right. Damn, this is this is interesting. This is so far the most interesting case in the game. <laughs> like dead eyes. All the detectives are literally here. There's there's a lot of different elements to have to like think about. And there's like it's not very clear who did it. But I got a very good Really? I, I got a number one suspect right now. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! I'll let the culprit into the lab. Now, this is what we don't know. Seems like we're finally at the central question. Deactivated security by cutting power. Oh, man. This is hard. This is gonna be hard. Invited in by the doctor, no. Doctor was not gonna let anybody in. Deactivated security by cutting power. Well, the security never been cut for like 90 days, so it's definitely not that. Invited in by the doctor, that's a possibility.
He never entered in the first place. This is the first step to solving how the culprit committed an impossible murder. Well, I think never entered in the first place is a fucking bullshit. I leave the rest to you. I'm going to read a book or something. You can bring your own stuff into the mystery labyrinth? He's just special. <laughs> He's just special. Damn. Mm. Bro. How did a culprit enter the lab? So invited in by the doctor, deactivated security. So does, does the log ever show when somebody like gets invited in? Okay. Security power supply. Security log. Okay. The security log of the critical lab. Whenever the security system is turned on or off, this is the first time where I actually have to use the solution keys and look through them just to figure out which is the right answer. Cause I literally don't know. I could brute force it, but it's not as fun. Record records show that the security system was disabled an hour ago. It has not been turned back on since Yuma and company use all about to disable the security. Okay, so that was the one time. 90 days ago, Yuma and company disabled it. The security system had been running without issue for the past 90 days. So. Deactivated security by cutting power. That actually might be the answer. Because one of us could be the culprit at that point. Deactivated security by cutting power. Never entered in the first place. Invited in by the doctor. This is fucked up, dude. I think it's deactivated security by cutting the power. Like, because we literally deactivated security. No, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm high. I'm high. It says by cutting power. We didn't cut the power. We did. We deactivated it by doing the bullshit. So never mind. So it's definitely not that. I, I was about to make a huge mistake. Death threat. He would have been highly cautious. There's never been a case where Fink the Slaughter Artist issued a death threat. It's only not only sent to the target, Dr. Wesco, but also the peacekeepers and the Nocturnal Detective Agency. testify the hitman attacked them they didn't go to a young man and a woman the woman is wearing a white lab coat perhaps she's a researcher at the lab the man cannot be recognized because of blood stains on the picture Bro, where do I even start to look? So the other ones were the doctor invited them in. Well, when we first got there, Dr. Wesco was like, oh, a woman? Yeah, we do need some food. Like he, it looked like he changed his tone when it was a girl. Uh -huh. Right after the blackout, researcher near the electrical room went inside. Yada yada yada. They witnessed a wait. Yeah. Our silhouette passed through the shadows. The researcher claims it must have been the hitman, although the identity of the figures are known. Certainly, a suspicious person was near the electrical room right after the blackout. Hmm. So this mic, mic can be used to communicate via voice. I don't know where, where that would actually come in. Oh, 
All right. Shoe print on the Amapal's head. Okay. There was a shoe print on Amapal's head when Amapal was moved into the airlock chamber. However, there was no shoe print. Here's the funny part is, like... The funny part is, this had to have been as soon as it got into the airlock chamber. As soon as we got into the airlock chamber, like, the, the video kind of fuzzed out. So... It has diagrams of a person being splashed with sulfuric acid. Doing this would cause clothes and skin to melt. What was the doctor trying to do? Kill? Kill somebody. There are canned food and bottles of water inside the lab. Not large enough for a person to pass through. Then confidential documents so the door is locked. Peacekeeper Director Yomi manages the storage room. Missing file. Here are mostly old research logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is found hidden beyond the house plant. Separate power system than what it is managing in the electrical room. never entered in the first place that's kind of a weird thing because i can't say invited in by the doctor right the culprit would have had to enter at some point to kill this idiot so that's kind of a dumb question we are we can prove the deactivated security by cutting powers bullshit too so it has to be invited in by the doctor Hey man, we if we get body, we get body. Interesting. The invited the culprit in. Interesting. But why? Things are so muddled now because we're assuming the culprit forced their way inside. If the culprit was invited to the lab, then he easily would have been able to enter. Ah. So you think the doctor disabled the security? He wouldn't need it if he was expecting a guest. Damn, this is a mad... Whoa. That was one weird... Huh? A trap? What? Guess you were wrong, Yuma. Well, I already knew that before. Oh, you... no. What? Why did you tell me? <laughs> you wanted me to tell you? This might be one of those routes you have to come back to. People only grow by learning from past mistakes, which is why I purposely shut, shut the, the fuck up. up! Uh oh. Master, we have to get out of here. Uh, how do we get out? Use logic to show how this route is the wrong one. <laughs> All right, I'll try. I've never did this, so this is what happens if you get it wrong. Why is invited in by the doctor not correct? This is interesting. I don't think we've ever had to deal with this. This is funny. The last time it was disabled. Yeah, the, the security log, I guess. Whenever the security system is turned on or off, the date is automatically reported. Records show the security system was disabled an hour ago. All right, so the security log. I thought the security log only showed when the security gets the computer didn't show cut off the security getting shut down by like any other means other than getting let in. If that's the case, he certainly didn't cut security just to let someone in. That's cool. And yeah, this one is yeah, this. Well, I may have messed up, but at least we got a little closer to the truth. Really? Do you get less clues because of that? Maybe, but if you hadn't messed up in the first place, you wouldn't have to come up with such a lame excuse. I... I know. I'll do better next time. Do better. Do better on the next episode, Yuma. Do better, bro.